I'm Alan Spears with Occupy Democrats, and in the video that we're going to be watching and discussing today, the gloves are coming off as President Biden launches a vicious attack against former president and convicted felon Donald Trump. Now we are rapidly approaching the first in a series of debates that are allegedly going to be taking place between President Biden and Donald Trump. And with so much happening between these two candidates and so much controversy surrounding one in particular, uh, it is certainly going to lead up into a very interesting showdown. Now, if you are anything like me, you might have been a little curious, if not a little bit excited, at the idea that Donald Trump has to debate President Biden via video call from prison. Now, the rules for this first debate are a little more strict than what we've seen previously. According to CNN, who will be hosting the first debate, it will last 90 minutes long. The candidates will stand at two uniform podiums and will be determined by a coin flip. They will not be allowed any sort of props aside from a pen and notepad to take notes on. Their mics will be muted if they are not actively called upon to answer a question or respond to a statement. And most notably, there will be no audience in the debate hall. Now, the lack of an audience is probably going to be most detrimental to Donald Trump as he is notorious for riffing and playing off of an audience and their reactions. Then again, Trump is an agent of chaos and destruction, so it will not be surprising if Trump is penalized or is having some difficulty following these rather more strict rules for the debate. Of course, only time will tell how these two candidates perform. However, that is not preventing them from ramping up the attacks prior to this debate and trying to lay it all out there. That actually brings us along nicely to what we are here to watch and discuss today as President Biden has just released a brutally scathing attack on Donald Trump in one of his most latest campaign videos. Now, in the video you're about to see, President Biden and his team actually call out Donald Trump on his character, or rather a lack thereof. At this point, we are all well aware that Donald Trump is not a morally upstanding man. He is not someone who embodies the virtues or the beliefs that this country was founded upon and that we hold so dear. Rather, he is a man driven purely by ego and narcissism and has only ever been in this race and in the presidency for himself and what he can get out of it. This is old news, of course, and something that at this point we're all very well aware of. However, at this point, we need to no longer focus on the character, or again, lack thereof, of Donald Trump, and focus on our own character. Are we as individuals going to stand by and allow the world's most pathetic wannabe authoritarian who has an insane victim complex despite the many powers and privileges he possess back into the White House to undo the very nature of our country? Or are we going to stand up and fight against someone like Donald Trump, against this authoritarian rhetoric that threatens to consume this country and upend everything that we have fought decades, if not outright centuries for? This is very much what is at stake in this election, and it is why it is so important for each and every one of you to stay informed and make the best possible decision when you go to the polls to vote. It's also so incredibly important to view videos like what you're about to see right now, where President Biden calls out Donald Trump for what he is, a convicted felon and a criminal. Take a look. In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault, and he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been working, lowering health care costs and making big corporations pay their fair share. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Concise and excellently put. To be quite frank, any one of those three convictions that Donald Trump is guilty of should more than disqualify him as president. The fact that this man is still somehow legally allowed to run as the president of the United States is nothing short of a crime itself. We must, as citizens of this great country, demand better than Donald Trump. To the handful of Republicans that are actually watching this video, you deserve better than to have a convicted felon and a con man and a grifter, Donald Trump, 
represent you and your beliefs. We all, as individuals in this country, deserve to have a president that serves us and serves the interests of our country and not focus solely on himself. It is utterly exhausting to have to deal with Trump and the fallout of whatever he's going to next say or do or commit. This man is the scum of the earth. He does not have any interest in serving you as individuals, as protecting this country, as trying to be a representative of this nation. He does not care. I desperately wish that the people in the MAGA movement could understand this. You should be utterly terrified if Donald Trump sees the inside of the White House again, because if he does, he will not leave again. He will use every ounce of power at his disposal to seek vengeance on his political opposition and ensure that he is never replaced. I'm absolutely calling it right here and right now. If Donald Trump is re-elected this year and enters the White House into a second term, starting in 27 and 28 as he and the Democratic nominee start to ramp up for another election cycle, Trump and his cronies will absolutely perpetuate this lie of needing to preserve the sanctity of the voting process or will start making claims about how our elections are unsafe and under attack. He and the rest of the Republicans will start to call for greater and more restrictive voting requirements. Soon, in which the amount of locations you can vote will start to shrink. You increasingly have to provide more and more documentation. The number of factors that disqualify you for being eligible to vote will increase. Given enough time, and anyone who isn't some evangelical Republican on the far right is going to be ineligible to vote. Or if you do somehow manage to skirt by and are capable of voting, they won't count it. We already have Trump on record. We have recordings of him asking to find votes to sway the election in his favor. And I can absolutely assure you, he will do that again. Only this time, Trump is going to surround himself with a cabinet of even more extremists who are pledging their undying loyalty and support to him, probably on pain of death. And you might say that, well, Alan, you're being a bit hyperbolic and you're exaggerating a bit. But am I? Really think about it. Think about all of the things that Donald Trump has said and done over the past eight, nine years. Do you really think that something like that is beyond him? Do you really think that he would stop and say, well, that would be crossing a line? Has there ever been a point that Donald Trump has stopped at a line and thought, that's a little bit beneath me? Of course not. Because this man is so incredibly dangerous and maniacal that I fear for this country's future. So please, get out and register to vote if you haven't already. And come this November, vote for the candidate who's going to preserve and uphold our democracy.